and welcome to Tabletop Battle! Yes, sir. And s and Games. Yep, yep. If you guys have seen the uh, three how to play the skirmish mode, this is the follow-up video for you. Yes. If you have not seen the how to play skirmish, this video sort of builds on that. So you need that knowledge to play the game further. Yeah, to enjoy this video. And the game we're talking about is... 148 Fantasy, The Rift War, the card game. Yes sir, the deck building card game. Yes, because you might have seen the miniatures how to play video game thing we did. <laughs> video game. Uh, very, very cool playing the miniatures game. It surely is. And if you haven't seen it, watch that video. Yeah, and now we're gonna continue with the how card to play. game. Uh, we have moved to the shop location in Tabletop Battle in Moss. Yes. So if you guys haven't seen the Tabletop Battle videos, you haven't seen this background before, so check out the Tabletop Battle videos. Yeah, this is the club where Tabletop Battle, uh, you know, resides. Yeah. And also have a small shop for the players to, you know, resupply. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> we're, you know, we're both, we're Tabletop Battle and s &M Games. Yes, we yeah. are. This video builds on what happens after the skirmish game, or how you can play a longer game than the skirmish mode. Yes. Because in the skirmish mode that we started playing, you need three victory points to win the game. And you had one when we cut off. Yeah. So we have given you two more. Yes, thank you for that. And we have dealt out some character cards to simulate, sort of simulate that we have had progress, both of us. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna pick up now uh, with me being the first player. Yes, sir. Because when Martin becomes first player, he has to assign at least two characters to the final encounter. It will also be revealed. Yes, sir. So we will show you how that, that works. works. Yes. So this is the natural step from going from a skirmish game to a standard game where you include yes, the sir. final encounter. And uh, is this a game that's it, that's called a campaign game? No. This is a standard game uh, where you play for one uh, final encounter instead of the three victory points. So it's just to make the game a little bit longer. And what's different between this and the campaign? If you play a campaign, you play against, or not against, you play for more final encounters. Yes, so, sir. for example, three. So, yeah. So, and, so <coughs> this is the medium length game. Correct. And then you can go a step further and play in the so-called story mode where you include the map and you include the uh, lands that you get or the counties you get the cards from the remember that the essential uh, expansion which is part of the kickstarter uh, where you get a card for each of the counties of Garandur where the game is taking place and we can then use those bonuses in the game yes sir i think we'll do some studio magic right here and you, you can do some pop-up of the county cards and do the voiceover, uh, the county of uh, Blibli. That's the Blibli. Blibli. <laughs> Blibli. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll do that. Yeah, we'll try something. Uh, and maybe we'll show you uh, a little bit uh, how that works in the game as well. Yes, sir. Okay. So are you ready to pick up the... I'm ready to pick up the game where we left off. Cool. All right. So this is where we left off-ish. We have the side quest, that's the expeditions, that's, that's the adventures. Yes sir, we have the hero deck, the hero discard, pi discard pile. We don't have any discard piles yet for the players, because we shuffled everything into our character decks. Yes, so we're ready to pull. Yes sir, you are the first player. Yes, so... At the start of your turn you gain four assigned tokens and you get the uh, to pull one hero card. Yeah, I do that now. And I get Wurgan the Wolf. Ooh, here's a good one. Yeah, I will also, this this you do at the end of your turn. You draw up to your six uh, cards, up to your hand. Yes, sir. And I now have Can my you hand. hand me six cards, please? I will hand you your six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is your hand for this turn. Thank you very much. And for you guys following the other videos. This is how we do it. You probably recognize a couple of these characters. And some might be new. All right, okay. then I'm ready to go on an adventure. Okay, cool. So what I know as your uh, opponent is that you have three of these um, victory points, yes, which sir. means that when you become first player next turn, I yeah, you will have to 
uh, go on this. It will also be unlocked so that we both will know what it is. Yes, sir. Which is kind of cool. Uh, knowing that, I will... First of all, actually, I'm going to decide to keep a couple of characters. To okay. have some good ones in hand. Uh, I will then play Atlas the Almighty because I think I want to give myself some bonuses since we spent all of those when we had the epic uh, fight the off. The showdown, yeah. yeah. Well, I know that I'm going to have to send some guys over here, so I'm going to try one of these expeditions. I'm going to send... To get you some more heroes. Yes, sir. I'm going to send a city guard Okay. on an expedition. City guard? And he has the ability that lets me play one additional guard. Oh, but you don't have that, do you? And I have this guardsman. You have? Yes, sir. Oh, it's so good. But I'm not going to add him to the same party. I'm going to play him on the adventure. You're going to play him over here? Yes, sir. So you're going to... So you're going to kill him? Yes, sir. What? I'm going to send him there alone. No, we don't use kill, we use defeat. To defeat the card so that I don't get it. Okay, cool. So, uh, I'm actually going to play... I'm going to copy you, man. I'm going to do Martin the Menace over here. Oh, he costs an additional assign token. Yeah, so I have to get rid of one, and then I have to pay one. You can actually give me one as well, because I'm going to play my Wizard's Apprentice, which gives me one assign token. Where do you want to have that? Okay, so you're going to go with more people on this expedition. Yes, sir. Then it's me again, and I have one token, but I do get the uh, Wizard's Apprentice, which gives me one token from oh, the bank. Oh, yes, you do. I'm going to play a Hired Sword on the same expedition. Can you pick up the card, please? Yeah, I can. Thank I can. you. I, was just, uh, I just saw that I did a little bummer. I didn't uh, do what I wanted to do. I want this one to go here. Okay, that's that's cool. Yeah, I, we, it's it's cool. It's your turn, man. Okay, then I got Sara the Sneaky. Yes, sir. She has an ability. Oh, no. Yes, and it says that uh, your opponent must discard or defeat a card from hand or staging area, if able. So I can defeat my guardsman already? Thank you. Yes, discard or defeat a card from the hand or staging area. So you can choose. If you'd had uh, some rewards here or something, you could have done that. Yeah, but I have instead. nothing. Okay, so, well, that re didn't really do anything for me, did it? Well, except if that's a really, really easy one and you manage it on your own. Yeah, I will not do that with... Uh... I will play Thorgrim, the Barbarian. He has a fight value of 2 and a range value of 1. Same party. Step 1, make him angry. Step 2... Send him towards your enemies. Fantastic. Rawr! Okay, so now you are done with your tokens. Nope. You I, got, oh. I actually have a couple left. Okay, I'm, 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 uh, I'm passing. I'm going to save these and I don't have any more tokens. I'm going to play Rosie the Rascal. She gains a token as well? Yes, sir. It's a new card for the guys at home. She has one range, one spellcraft, and she gives me one assigned token. She is a rogue. And the fluff text is Rosie. Oh yes, she's the feisty one. Said Hef. Said Hef. <laughs> and you haven't seen Hef yet. Hef the Hound. Hef the Hound. Okay, so this one is added to yes, your party. Sir. So now we have a pretty good hand here with 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11. So I think that's pretty good. I got 2 with a value of 3 total. You're the first player. Which... Yes. And now we are uh, in the situation where we can actually show you. I can choose to open this one first or this one first. Yes, sir. It's always a good tactic to start with these because it can give you a bonus that you can use later here. In this case, I just sent him to die, uh, be defeated. So it really doesn't matter. Um, I will wait with him and I will go for this one first. And it's spiritual balance. Have we seen that before? I don't think so. I don't think so. The druids of the wild are performing a cleansing ritual to balance the forces of both light and darkness. Will you aid them or stop them? I will at least take myself a copper because to make that I have to have... Three combined power. And Atlas the Almighty is almighty and has three combined yes, power. Yes, it does. It gives you a reward plus one any. Plus one any. That's very good. 
So I will put that on him. I will flip this one to the lion's roaring head and I get one copper. I have to go on the adventure now, or the expedition I mean. It's only the one you can do. Yes sir. So we'll flip that and, oh, journals of a madman. Okay. That's well, pretty good. This is an expedition in the Midlands. Can it be? Have you stumbled across the ancient rituals of Vavtrudne? The mercenaries in possession beg to differ. It requires two fight and two spellcraft or a combined value of eight. You have both of those, so no problem. The reward here is plus one spellcraft, but with very small typing it says this card is not defeated after use. So it means I can assign this to a, a character and at the end of the round I get to keep it instead of putting it into the discard pile. Yes, very good. And you also gain yourself a copper. Uh, silver. Oh, silver, that's actually. what I said, silver. Okay, then it's uh, my second party, yes, sir. since we alternate. And I will flip this one and see what it is. It's the crypt. Uh, yeah, I would actually have made that with either of these uh, characters. Yeah, the Mages Guild will reward you generously if you can find an artifact for them. Be wary of ghosts. It requires either one fight and one ranged, or one spellcraft. And it, the reward is either one uh, uh, fight or one spellcraft. Cool, so I can make a choice. Beautiful artwork though. That is beautiful. Uh, so, they are done. I will flip those to remind me and I will gain another copper, which I can then switch into a silver. Yes sir, because two coppers is one silver. Yes. I have no more parties to resolve. Nope. Uh, so that's only Martin left. Yes, sir. So we'll take a look at this and remember this one stays open. Trouble at the farm. Uh, and I actually, when I when I flipped it, I just oh no, what if it is the mission? Yeah, because many of these ones have a negative uh, occurrence if you fail it, or occurrence. I think that's the wrong thing, but a negative bonus if you fail the mission. Yes. Wild folk have surrounded a small party at the abandoned farm. Help them out and maybe they'll join you. Hey cool, that is actually a scenario from the miniatures game book yes, as well. Yes, it is. So you can play that scenario. And you had no chance in making that mission. Not at all. 2-3-3 three, 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 and I got 2-1. and one. So actually with a couple of more characters I might have been able yes, to do sir. it. And a 2 hero card is a pretty good reward. But I did this to uh, defeat this guy. Yeah. So we're now done, we move into the uh, cleanup phase. Yes sir. So I will uh, take my four tokens back, you will get your four tokens, and your money, my money, my rewards. Yes sir. Your rewards. My reward will stay in play, even if I use it. So I'm gonna use this every single turn. Every single turn. Mine will be defeated when I've used them. I will gather up the guys that were over here, they will go into the discard pile, while this guy, who tried to stop the trouble at the farm and failed, he will go into the hero discard pile and it cannot be returned unless you get a character with an ability that lets you pick one from the hero discard pile. Very, very true. Okay, so that is actually that turn done. Yes sir. The next thing you do is to draw back up so that you have six cards. Yes sir. And pass the first player token. Yeah. So I have two. So I will draw three and I have to shuffle. I have one, two, three, four, five and I have to shuffle and pull one more. Shuffle and pull. Like so. So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Mix oh, them up real good. And this is the last one. Last one. And this is now our new character decks that we will draw from. Yes, sir. And then the uh, turn ends and you become first player at the beginning of the next turn. Yes, sir. Okay. The first thing I do as the first player is to pull another character card. Oh, look at this beast. Is this beast? is the Horla. Ah. An undead beast. If discarded the Horla is discarded to the first player's discard pile. Oh, and you are the first player. So if I use it this turn, I will get it. But if I use it when he's the first player, it will go into his discard pile and then into his character deck. Isn't that cool? Sleep tight, my dear, is the fluff text on this one. 
And this is actually based on a mythological mythological beast uh, who uh, transformed into a cat and sat on people's chests when they slept. Oh my lord. And it's got a spellcraft value of three. So it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Pretty good. But it's in my discard pile. Yeah. Okay, so cool. Uh, and now, I'm the first player and I have three victory points. Correct. So the first thing I'm we do... I'm going to move this up a bit so that the camera can get it. Yeah. Then we unlock this. Yes, sir. And we must reveal it since you have three. Yes, sir. And let's see what it is. It's this one. Maybe you will show the camera. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's the Elder Dragon. Oh, sorry. The Elder Dragon of Krell. The final encounter then takes place in Krell. And the, the text on it is, The Elder Dragon has ruled the mountains since the dawn of time. Which side can subdue it and make it an ally to their cause? To gain renown, or to win the game in this case, you need four fight, five ranged, three spellcraft, or a total value of 16. This is really hard to do on your own. If you don't have the specifics, that is. In addition to revealing this mission, I have to flip one of my victory point cards sideways. Yeah, to the locked position. To the locked position. This is to keep track that I have tried once this turn to succeed this mission. I have to do this every turn I am able. And I have to send at least two characters on the final encounter. Yeah, so each turn your first player, so not next turn, but then turn after that, you have to uh, lock another one. Yeah. So if you can't make it with the three victory points you have to count down with, mm -hmm. the game ends in a draw, actually. Yes, sir. But you can also, of course, be sneaky and go on a new adventure to buy, to buy more, more victory time. points. Yeah, and now I know how easy that adventure is compared to the final encounter. Yes, you do. But I have to send two guys there. You have to. So you have to send two guys here. That is, that is also see. to... This is a new one. I'll read this out loud a bit later when I play it. <laughs> this is a new one. I'll read this out loud when I play it. What? I'm gonna start by sending this old girl. I got her at the end of the... Uh, skirmish? Mm -hmm. Serena the Scout. Oh no. When defeated, Serena the Scout is defeated to your character discard pile. She's only got one fight and one ranged, but she's a decent character. Yeah, that's not good for me because now, and here is uh, the thing I've mentioned a couple of times uh, when we have discussed the game, that now we are in the mind-boggling mode, right? Because this character is defeated back into his pile which means the way I see it he's just doing this to to you know he have to send but I I don't think he's going for it I don't I, I this is a ruse is that what they call it a ruse yes yeah but you're just playing the cards you've been dealt right I'm just playing the hand I was dealt okay I don't like when you show the guys that I, then I become confused again but you know I, I think you're not going for it. That is a ruse. So I will gamble that you're not gonna make it. Okay. Uh, and I will I will ship. <laughs> I will ship somebody. Oh look what I got. Uh, I think I will start by sending a cell sword down here. Okay. Paying one token. I will then use my second token to play a guy called Olaf the Old. What? He has the ability to add an, a, two additional mercenaries from my hand, ignoring the assign cost. And when I, uh, when I add them, they need to be in the same party, of course. So he will bring a hired sword for the cost of one activation token. And they're going... No, you're oh, not. Going on the same mission? No. No. So then I have three Fight and two ranged. I only need an additional three ranged, three ranged, two magic, and one fight. Yes, sir. 
Oh, scheiße. And, and now we're back to the mind-boggling thing again. Okay, what should I do now? Because now I already committed one guy here. That means I have one less character to face you. And now I don't know, are you tricking me or are you not tricking me? Because if you are tricking me, two of these, well, two of these will be dead, but it, it's random, so this guy might be the one and she'll get back to your party or to your character deck. Uh, but you know what, I now, if, since we don't need that much, I think actually I'm, I'm gonna, because uh, I saved a couple of guys. Oh no. I did. So I'm gonna play Storm, no, not Storm. Because <laughs> he has an ability, you know, that I have to discard a, a card. So I will, I will play Vir, the Winged Death. Oh, that's a good one. And now uh, we actually have enough fight and we're only missing two ranged. Yes, sir, and three magic. Yeah, but you know who has magic? Yes, I do. Nakuteb the Necromancer. Nakuteb the Necromancer. Hey, wait a bit. One man's junk is another man's homunculus. Or homunculus, or how you pronounce that word. He's got two spellcraft. He's a wizard necromancer. You may discard a character card from your hand or staging area. No, you don't. So I'm sending this guy on a side quest. No, you don't. And he's removing... No, you don't. ...the hired sword and placing it in my discard pile. No, you don't. Oh, yes, I did. So how does this look? Ah! Does it look like we're going to make that mission? Now I have to count. Uh, a still, one, a two. <laughs> one, a two. We still beat the melee or the fight value. Yes, sir. Ranged value, I am missing three. I get one here. So we're missing two, uh, but the problem is now I only got two tokens left. Oh, so I can only play two more guys. Ray, you know what? I am not going to be able to make it. Good. No. Splendid. Because this is really bad, because now I will lose him. And I still have one assigned token. You have one assigned token, but you can't do anything that will let you make this mission now. That's impossible. I know that. Well, it really depends on what you play, though. I'm not going to play anymore there because he just have to go. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I, I can't risk losing any more guys. Uh, you've really been tricking me, and I I, uh, I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to play Birk the Brave here. Is uh, it? He says you may search your discard pile and place one card on top of your character deck. I don't have anyone in my discard pile. Okay. So it doesn't work. I will play. A city guard as my final card. Okay. And I'm gonna send him on a side quest. Okay. On another one or together? Another one. Another one. Okay. That's that's good. As you know, these are these can be easy so that you can, you know, get. I need those stuff. bonuses for the final encounter. Yes, you do. Uh, you know what? Uh... And I'm gonna save this card for the next turn. <laughs> oh, I should have. I should have taken this one. But you know what? I can keep that open by sending the guardsman. Yeah, because if you if any player assigns a character to the top card while it's revealed, it's not put into the discard pile. No, but if I didn't go there, nobody tried to do this again, then it would be discarded. Yes, sir. And another one would be unlocked on top there. Uh, okay, so are you going to do something more? You're done? I'm ready. Okay, then I will just to be... I, I don't just... have any more assigned tokens. No. I don't think you do either. But I do have my wizard's oh, apprentice. Oh, you do! So my wizard's apprentice will gain one token from the bank yes, just sir? to give me some more bonuses, perhaps. Some more options. Yes, so I will keep one card. I will start resolving uh, Nakoteb the Necromancer on the side quest. Okay, so let's see what he is going to do. Oh, two hand. The piercing arrow. A band of mercenaries have has found the legendary piercing arrow. Hunt them down and claim it. I think that was one of the the guys we did in the uh, how to I skirmish. Think so we have shuffled. Yeah, yeah very we shuffled well. and reset. So don't mm, requires a total of two, and gives me one ranged, and a copper piece. Copper piece. So Nakuteb is uh, good there. And then I will try this one with my party of uh, Birk and Cell Sword. 
and it requires two hand. I have that. I nice, get a nice. plus one fight. It's That's a Paladin cool. Squire, so you have seen that from before. And one copper for me as well. I will just keep it like that. I will then resolve the other side quest with the City Guard. Okay, this guy, try yes, the next one. And this is plentiful supplies. I don't think we've done that. You have come across great loot. So has another party, and they're not backing off. Requires one fight and one ranged, or a total of four. But he has one fight and one ranged. So it's pretty good. The reward is one assigned token. Ooh, that is good. That's very good. Cool to have in the final battle. Two copper makes for one so We don't have any more silver, but... But I have a silver, so you can give me a gold. We can trade that for a gold. Yes, sir. That means it's almost time to go to the market. Maybe we should add some gold and stuff uh, since we had some from before. We can do a little uh, marketplace at the end of this game. Yeah, we can show some marketplace Just to items. show how it works. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, then uh, my Wizard's Apprentice. Yes, we'll sir. try the next one. It's only one magic, so... No, it's uh, one fight or one range. This one will remain open, but no negative consequences when you fail these. That's correct. I will then resolve the Elder Dragon of Krell. Okay. Do we make it? No. No. <laughs> and that is pretty simple. Uh, the whole party on each side is defeated when you fail this one. Yes, sir. But Serena is defeated to my discard pile. Yes, they are. So you lose Vir, I lose Olaf the Old. And you get that back into your discard pile. Yes, sir. Okay. And then it's only uh, this one left. Yes, sir. And he will, of course, also just be defeated. Yes, sir. Which means I have trimmed my deck a little bit. Yep, yep. And uh, we are now... In the cleanup step. Yeah, so we're done with this uh, phase. I'll just be cleaning up from here, so a lot of arms, guys. A lot of arms. I beg pardon for that. Stuff into the discard pile. This one is open, this one I is open, this one. one open. card left. Two, three, four, five. Shuffle, 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 and pull one card. This one. Oh, I actually, I took a, a side quest into my character deck. That's not clever. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see, I got four, so I'm going to pull two of these. Let's see. Two. There you go. And you got your four tokens, you got your rewards, I got my rewards, and now you are the first player again, so you will get a card. Have you done that? Uh, nope. Okay, so you will get this one. Ooh. Wh Wait a minute, I'm not the first player. You're the first player. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm the first player, so I get ghoul. Because I get this at the start of the turn. This is the ghoul, or a ghoul. He's an undead warrior with a fight value of three. He can only be in a party with a necromancer or undead characters only. And of course, his comment below is. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes into my Discord pile. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So. Uh, you are the first player. I am the first player, and we now have a situation where we have three open uh, mission decks. Yes, sir. I can try to go, and, and now, again, uh, I can try to go on this one. Uh, yes, you can. Any time, as long as it's open, I can try to go there. I don't have to wait for Martin to have his turn and flip those. Those is just a countdown. So I can go whenever I want, as long as, it's, as it has been uh, opened. Uh, that of course means you, you want to check your cards and see if you can make it. And then now I can of course do the same thing with Martin that he did with me to try and... Lure me into a trap? Yes, lure you or lure you. Are you guys quick at math? What? What? Oh, I'm just asking the guys at home if they are quick at doing math. Are you... Are Because is... we here at Tabletop Battle we are really bad at math. Okay, okay. So now, we, now you're doing mind games, right? 
This this is where the mind games begin, the, uh, or it began the previous turn. And this is so cool, you know. It's really, really cool. But you are the first player, yeah. And so therefore, you play the first card. Yeah, definitely. So I will start by deciding doing... what card you're going to play. Yeah, um, that is true. Uh, I think I will go in hard with Atlas the Almighty. Okay, I see your bluff and I add Serena the Scout, which is this defeated into my discard pile instead of being defeated. Just in case you are trying to trick me. Okay, so that's a good answer to what I did there. Uh, but oh, of course... One assign token. You have to help me with those assign tokens. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah assign tokens. Yeah, my arms are in the way. Your arms. I have so short arms. Yes. And to further the tricking, I will play a Worgen the Wolf, because it says on his card, when this character is defeated, each player draws one hero card. Uh, okay. But that means we are almost at the magic step. Yes, sir. And we have a total of three fight already. We have two ranged, so we're missing one fight, and uh, three ranged, and one magic. Okay. You know what? I'm going to add that piece of magic with my Wizard's Apprentice. You're gonna do your research one day. Just in case we actually make it. And thank you for helping with me with those assign tokens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, okay, then I'm gonna add uh, this bit the Brave. Yes, sir. Because he has a ranged. So now, well, now you may put the ghoul on top of your character deck. Uh, you may search your discard pile and place one card on top of your character. Yeah, I can do that. So he's there. You don't have to. It says May. But yes, sir. Why not? Well, so we now have a total of three fight. We have magic for four. And we have three ranged. So we're missing two ranged and one fight. How, how many ranged? Two ranged. Okay. We're missing two ranged. And? One fight. That's it. To make the final encounter. Okay, I don't have that much fight left, so I'm gonna add Rosie the Rascal. She's the, the one that gives me one assigned token. Okay, now I, I will help you with the... Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, the thank you. The I gained one from the bank. <laughs> ah, from the bank! Okay, so that means we're now missing one ranged. Okay. And we're missing how many fights did I say? Oh, at least one. So if I play Sala the Sneaky, we have exactly what we need, isn't that true? But you have to discard or defeat the card from hand or staging area. So this might backfire on me, because if you take one of these, we won't make it. But of course you will lose two guys and I will lose my whole party. How many assigned tokens do I have left? Uh, you got one here too, because you got one for free. So you can actually. But I add played my Wizard Apprentice and Rosie the Rascal. Those then you gave have me three. two, so I should have three. Yes, correct. Then I will discard the Plentiful Supplies, which ah. gave me one assigned token. And that was because Sora the Sneaky said that I had, or he had to do that. Yes, sir. You didn't see that coming, did you? Nope. Said Sarah. You didn't. She has one fight and one ranged. She is a rogue. And yeah, as he said, your opponent must discard or defeat a card from hand or staging area if able. Yeah, and some cards are more specific about characters or other things. But the, the cool thing is that, of course, now he lost one reward, which was gain one assign token, which he could have used to get more characters down. Yes, sir. But you have three cards left and you got three tokens, so I think actually you I'm are... I'm going to play the Hired Sword. Yeah, I think you I are. I think we are going to make it. I think we already did. Uh, so, I really should have, oh, if I knew you were coming with that guy, I should have played Storm the Mountain King, because he would have given me a lot of dice. Instead, I don't have any tokens, so I just have to play my Wizard's Apprentice to gain one from the bank. Alright, then I will play Torgrim the Barbarian. Okay. He's got two fight and one ranged. So I can see you're stacking up a lot of dice here, man. How many dice? do you have? As it stands, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. How many do I have? 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's it's amazing. It's always the same. But I have one more assigned token, no, right? No. no. <laughs> Do you have one more? No. Then I will play Dahlia the Black. Oh no! She's an undead necromancer. Can you play her with the other guys? Her ability is when Dahlia the Black is discarded, she is instead she is defeated instead. Okay. So So she's a one shot pony. Yeah, you use her once and then she's dead. But in this case it doesn't really matter because her, this will really help you. Her most interesting text is You want a piece of me, huh? Dahlia. And of course, this is uh, another reference you guys can try to comment in the comment section below if you get it. She's got one fight, one ranged, and a couple of spellcraft. So, four power four total. Four power total. The powerhouse. I have the power. No, but she has the trademark. power. She has the power. Is it, is it trademark? I don't know. I didn't say it. <laughs> YouTube, I didn't say it. Okay, so I got one card left. I can't use it. But what I can do is to play some uh, rewards if I want to. Now, I am the first player, so I have to choose first. if I want to play rewards or not. And this is the thing. I know there's going to be a combat after this is done. So I might as well just play it. So I will start with playing plus one fight on Atlas the Almighty. Yes, sir. So he has plus one fight. And this is alternating, right? Yep. You have to choose first and then it's alternating. That is correct. I will play the piercing arrow on Rosie the Rascal. She has the range symbol, so you can do that. Yes, sir. Then I will play plus one any on my Wizard Apprentice, in case you want to try some uh, shenanigans. shenanigans. I will play the journals of the madman on my Wizard Apprentice. Okay, and then I got a fight or a magic. Doesn't matter, it's the dice value that's important. So I can just play one fight on Sara the Sneaky. All right. So now we have added three dice on my side. And two dice on my side. So you have a total of uh, a lot. 14, 15, 16. So I would have made the mission on my own with the combined power. By playing your rewards. So it's always good to go over here, find some rewards. But I also would have succeeded the mission by the numbers themselves. By the numbers. So it's pretty but good. So would you, I think, ish? Probably yes. With my... No, it's the, the range is missing. Okay. I don't have the range. But anyway. We're gonna roll some dice. And when we resolve this mission and roll our dice, as you guys can see, this is to gain renown. And in a standard game, you play for one renown. This is actually the winning role. Yes, a standard game. Yes, sir. And as we discussed in the intro, you can choose to play a campaign and then you will play for, say, three or five or seven, depending on how long you want the game to last. Yes, sir. So you have 16 dice, as yes, we discovered. Yes, sir. I added three to my 10, so I have 13. I think I'm gonna wanna film a close up of the dice rolls for the guys at home, because yes. they love watching us roll dice. And don't shake the dice No, next I to won't the shake camera. it next to the camera. So we'll be right back with the close-up. All right, we're over to handheld mode, son. Yes, and I've added some gold, as we discussed. So you got yes, some sir. gold for your victory points and stuff. Four gold pieces, one silver and one copper. And I got myself gold, and I will show you the marketplace after we're done with this epic battle, which is taking place right now. Are you feeling confident, Sven? I am. Can you roll 16 dice with one hand? Uh, I think you're the first player. I am the first player. I roll first. Yes, That's correct. And here's the cool thing. If I now had any more stuff I could add, you can do that at any time. Yes, sir. Uh, you, of course, need your characters to have the ability to, to receive it so that you can... Right, you understand. Uh, we have brought out the dice tray from Deep Cut Studios. Yes, and if you're a patron of Tabletop Battle, you will actually get 20% uh, off at certain uh, patronages. Four pluses to win. How many is that? How many is that? Let's take away the misses. Wow, we. <laughs> Ten successes. Count wow. Them up. Wow. Wow, we. Okay, can you hold the camera? And, and, and now you you have to fail now, man. You have to come on, man. You can't make that. I'm wearing my lucky cap. Okay, so if you score ten, the same as me, 
it's a draw and we lose one character, you can fight again. No! I don't think even if you reroll that one that's outside the tray, I don't think that's gonna work because you get one, two, three, four, five, six, you get six. What happened to the Jatsi right, You get seven, you get this seven. This game just stopped being funny. <laughs> no. Oh, you know what? The, but this is this is exactly How is that possible? But that's exactly ten successes on thirteen dice. You can get lucky. Wow. But the difference, to be fair, it was only three fingers. No, well, three three dice. Three that, dice yeah. were the difference. So it's definitely possible. Even though you but had the better. There you team. have it. You snatched my victory right in front of my nose. Yes. And oh. the cool thing is that now, as I made this one. I will get Krell. Yes, sir, the county of Krell. If you look at the map without clear, uh, Krell is over here. And Martin would be able to choose either Eastern Farmland, Midlands, or the Northern Highlands. All of them uh, bordering uh, Krell. Krell. Yes, sir. And then we would have each our county. Yes, sir. Which works sort of like the journals of the madman. Yes. With a permanent bonus. Exactly, but then we could also go on a conquest to conquer each other's uh, county yes, and sir. get your bonus or my bonus. Watch the next video where we will use the counties. Yeah, do that. Okay. And remember, go on the Kickstarter thing and click yes, the sir. Notify Me on launch. And support us. Okay guys, welcome back. As you can see, uh, Martin has left the scene because he had to reach a ferry across the water. But I will just show you a little bit uh, about the um, marketplace deck. So everything as it is as it was. So we'll just complete the step that would have happened now um, uh, after we did our epic battle. So as you know, uh, I won an epic roll off. That was that was pretty good, man. Um, but I spent these three, which are rewards. And they are defeated after use, so they would have gone to this discard pile. Remember, this one was still open, and this one was still open. As none of us did them, they would also go to the discard piles. Their respective discard piles would be like this. And a new fresh mission would be open on top of them for the next turn. But of course, we ended the game because I won this one which will give me the county of Corel. And just for f the fun of it, as I showed you on the map, uh, Corel is situated over here, and I would have gotten that as a permanent reward. It gives me two magic permanently, though it's pretty powerful. Now, also as you remember, uh, Martin would get either Eastern Farmlands, the Midlands or Northern Highlands. And he can choose, because that can be of strategic importance. Because if uh, the next time we fight, we for example fight over uh, Frostfang in a final encounter, if we play a story mode, where we do several final encounters and we get more and more counties, then that would mean if uh, he chose Midlands, and he won this one, I could only get Northern Highlands. So it's, it's, uh, it's tactics involved in this as well. So anyway, uh, this is what Martin would be able to choose from. And as you can see, it would be pretty easy to make the choice of Midlands because it gives you two hand so that you can use that for adding to your crew. So I will get two magic, which is helpful in that it can give me uh, what I need to complete a specific mission like this one. I could add my two magic from my county to this Whereas the hand value Martin would have chosen would only work against the total while This magic would work against both this one and this one So that's why these are better, but this is of course a good substitution and It's to make sure that the loser of a game you know, that he gets something at least. And now both of us has one county each. I got Krell and he has got the Midlands, which means that in the next game, we can actually start going on a conquest in which we can assign uh, a party to attack the other guy's county. And we will try that the next game and show you that in video number five. So that was a little bit about counties and how that works and we'll play that as i said but for now what i'm gonna do is uh, show you the marketplace 
So, uh, we are, oh yeah, and this uh, reward that Martin had, um, it's permanent, so it doesn't go away. Of course, it was the end of the game, so in that re respect it would have gone away, but if we had continued playing more turns, he could have had that and added that plus one magic every turn. Now, uh, Martin has some uh, gold, and I have one gold and a copper and a silver. So we'll just have that available to us. Uh, and let's say I am the first player, then I would, you know, have my six cards as normal. Three, four, five, and six. Just play with them open, like so. I'm not going to do uh, a game. I'm just going to show you how you can do this. So, uh, the first thing you can see is that if you uh, want to go on the marketplace, you have to pay one assigned token to do that. But you also have to keep in mind that you must assign a character always to one of the missions. And that is to, you know, speed up the game and make things happen. So let's just say that I send Birk the Brave onto one of these, pay one assigned token for that, then Martin, you know, takes one of these guys and uh, assigns them to a mission, then I decide, okay, I want to I wanna go to the marketplace. What I do then is I take one assigned token. I don't put it on any characters. I just put it on the... Yeah, and you can see I've added this deck to, you know, it's a continuation. This is how it goes, and you just add the marketplace deck on the end here. And that uh, signifies that I'm going to the marketplace. And what you do then is you flip the top two cards is a wand of fire jet and a war axe now uh, they both cost one gold and one copper uh, since I am first player I can choose one of these to buy and I think since I am I know magic is is hard to come by so I will buy this as my uh, reward it's a one-time use just like the uh, other rewards you get, so you can't keep that for every turn, but it's it's a powerful reward to play with a power of three and uh, I have to pay the cost which is one gold and one copper so I'll take that and put that in the bank and now I got one silver left and now since I did that if I didn't buy anything Martin would have the option of buying either of these but not both you can only buy one each turn but of course he will spend one gold and one copper to buy the war axe since that is a fight of three and pretty useful so he puts that in the back and now uh, we could continue on playing or if we so desire we could assign another token to the uh, marketplace deck and we could pull two new ones and okay it's one gold and one copper and one uh, silver and since this would have been Martin's turn, he could then choose to buy this one. This is tactics, because I only have enough uh, money to buy this. So to stop me from buying this, he could do that. Or he could buy this if he wanted to have this. And then I would, of course, have enough money to buy this one. So this is totally up to you if you want to stop your opponent from getting something, or you want to get something better, but then your opponent also gets something. Uh, so it plays just like normal, you assign your characters, you pay the cost to do that, and if you want to go on the marketplace, one of the assigned tokens has to go over there, and it can't be used on a character. So that was a little bit about the marketplace items, and they play exactly as a reward. So if I had gone uh, and bought this one, I could then use that when he tries to do this mission, and it's a total of five and lo and behold I can assign this because this has the magic symbol to his magic symbol and I have a three four five and I make the total so they can be very powerful to get you out of trouble and of course in a in a player versus player combat if I could add three dice like that and he could add three dice like that suddenly you can roll a lot of dice but that's part of the fun Okay, so I hope that was uh, a good enough explanation of Marketplace.
and you will see us use that in uh, the next video where we will do some um, counties, we will do some uh, uh, conquest and maybe even we will touch on challenges because we haven't done challenges yet yet another thing you can do in the game and it's very very cool and very very tactical okay so this has been Sven and uh, Martin and we are uh, SNM games we are tabletop battle and we love games thank you for watching <laughs>